With used cars in high demand, experts are warning consumers to look out for too good to be true prices. News 10 anchor Sylvia Masters explains how these used car sell scams work in tonight's Eye on Scams report. Used cars are in high demand and scammers know it. Con artists are taking advantage of shoppers who turn to online platforms in search of a reasonably priced used vehicle. Be wary of this latest twist and too good to be true prices. What we're seeing now is high ticket items like used vehicles um, when the demand was a little short for vehicles and then interest rates are different and some people not you know in the market for a new vehicle they're looking for something used and they're coming across prices that of course are too good to be true. You come across a used car for sale online either on Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace or another online platform. When you contact the seller you find out the vehicle is in another city. Yeah, the post itself is a scam. Of course, it's probably pictures of a real vehicle that, um, you know, they're listing way cheaper than it would actually sell for. And, of course, their goal is to try to get a deposit or upfront money or some type of transport cost from you um, before you ever see the vehicle. And in the end, the vehicle is not real. It's not actually for sale. And the person you're dealing with is a scammer. Many scammers will add a sad story. For example, they may claim the car belonged to a relative who passed away. In some instances, they'll claim that they're working with a third party company to help transfer the title and handle the sale itself. But you do have to check into that company itself because some of those end up just being made up again to seem legitimate, but it's just a scammer taking advantage of you. Here are some tips on how to avoid car sale scams. Watch out for prices that are too good to be true. Scammers know that used cars are in high demand and they will tempt shoppers with great deals. Contact the seller by phone. As early as possible, speak to the seller on the phone and ask plenty of questions. If the seller can't confirm their location or the location of the vehicle, you're probably dealing with a scammer. See the car before you buy it. Always make an in-person inspection and take a test drive before you purchase a vehicle. Don't give in to threats or pressure. Resist the urge to act immediately. And lastly, don't wire funds for a car. Scammers often ask for wired funds because they are hard to track and there is no way to get your money back. It's best to make large purchases by check or a credit card. If you have a scam you'd like me to investigate, feel free to send me an email at smasters at In the studio, Sylvia Masters, KLFY News 10.